Guess who's back? Back again. Ispani Mahaslas. Good see you. Good as mean. Ispani Sibu Pomona Gute. San Bonani. And a salute to all Mahaslas. Imina Gumpato Fellow. Umek Milen Lishomo. Konaga is just a slung. SCT. If you do not measure something, then you won't improve it. I wonder what's important about it. Go as Kuma Makas is Kuma. Get measurement. Hmm. But I won't say. Got the Samba and Hasalis. Oh, pretty. Indo has it. Dala Hasila. Dala Ikuda. Umu Mechara. Umkala. Umam Tati. Who's humble again? I'm SS of Lapana again. You want to get Avantu by Lapana, a National Metrology Institute of South Africa. The question is, will she measure up and get the job? All I know is I have a measuring tape in my pocket. A sum is so measured. Who am I? What is my place in this world? I was confronted with these questions from then onwards. support from the relative daga so family like a very close knit family primary my uh, older brother Nasa do look or arrive, and that's school or somewhere else. So Nikita Mile, another brother of mine, Kamalapa, and then Nikita Malena is a little give well in the afternoon, even we even shared our lunch. Nearly close, very close, and it's unfortunate for even though we shared so much growing up, a few years later I had um, to go back and bury him because he had died and it's I think it's it's something that I've I haven't spoken about for Nagu Etelele until now. I guess Hunter Kingwali background story or Kiopole about Kichoku guy. He's he was a huge part of my life. Kumkana Luhun Larawe, Banabai Bakabu Fukure, or Putuabona or Beach. In a Tabayabona, I think you have a Sorahabuzi. Bailba Pamsuku Kuzugamata. Tala a little over Namu Balong one, a fellow about who pulling him one hour one, Lelanka as on a one alpha balon along Po. So, Kidirle Metric was 2009. I high school. I went to University of Limpopo. I registered for my Bachelor of Science degree, double major, Physics and Chemistry. I did it from uh, 2010 until 2012. And then, in 2012, that's when I finished my degree. The next year, 2013, I did my honors degree in Chemistry. Really, I belong to Nakawa University. Kili kagwa ki kichurili, tajila matomo. Kesu si jarahal. Kor ana kwa pelekian rle arohona na. Lor ana ye na kwa yangona. Ute arohona kuka dira kusona le mora kuka chona. Arata kuka ituta. Kwa mchumga ya chaki mi kufia le fasili. Dua li chokolata. Lila fija mafile lungi la kabota. Found out I was pregnant in September 2013, and then I was honest. Next, I expect. I was very naive. I was very 
had it direct like failure from varsity or when you go to your first job that you start realizing that hey no my parents sold me dreams <laughs> so I, I had always thought what a life is perfect life is so and and besides like I, I'm, I've said before Hori, I've never failed at anything until I was at varsity Kalta jile neng sanjo rege be kodi graduation neng ka 2014 neile ka di 23 May asiko kono ya because that was the day that my child was born neng ka be kira dilo to be there but kiti bili do kwedi before that day kore I'm not going to be there ena rena ri ke mishe ichi kore ta jile ka kubisa ka maswane ri ya di graduation neng ra ho cha kore ha go sa khona gala. Mara, Ranore, Arnata, Marotta Mudim. I remember to move along with a little son or I hold. The next day, you know, people didn't know what to say to me to, to congratulate me for getting my honest degree or to congratulate me for having a baby daughter. People didn't know, like, literally. and. They even nicknamed my daughter Onas. So sometimes <laughs> they'll call her, they'll call me and say, oh, okay, Onas. And I know, her, oh, it's that story. But it, it was very nice, it was very nice. I don't think it's a plan. I don't think I was just hoping that I can take it and then I was just hoping that I can take it apply to my marriage. I was just hoping I can take it to my marriage. February 2014, which was about two months after I was honest. I was called for an interview with Misa. Uh, 20 October 2014. I went there, I had my interview, and then they called me the same day. Interestingly enough, I fitted in to NMSA. I was willing to write everything by the way, gas analysis and gas metrology. I was very excited to be new coming in and helping them and assisting them. I was very excited to be here. My studentship is coming to an end, and then I was at the National Metrology Institute of South Africa for interview as a guest scientist. Reprili aya kwa minisa ke mushalla lo mwana. Ga se me ka ba le le bothata. Ke le ka amogela ka tsoba gore ke ngwana ngwana ka. Ga gona motho mongwe le gore o swanetse gore a tla mo fepelo ngwana ile. Ke nna ke santse gore ke tshe mai karabelo ka moka a gore ke godi shingwane tswa le ka ke go tshitse mmagwe. If I get this position, I would like to take my parents on a week-long holiday. Can I know they deserve it? Um, for all the days that they kept awake with Shiro and I was not there, maybe my child was not feeling well. I was all the way here in Pretoria and Vona back at home dealing with every little thing that happens. And I just want to show them that I'm grateful for everything that they've done for me, everything that they've done for my child. I'm grateful for the support, and I think that they deserve a break.
if I can just interject there quickly. If you tell me I'm a for interview yaga, I get to expecting so kichulen yana kanyan, but I'm hoping for the best. Wish me luck, guys. Good morning, Preli. Thank you so much for availing yourself for the interview. Thank my you. name is Tobi Gilekongo. I'm coming from HR. I will allow my colleague to also introduce himself. Okay, thank you. Hi, Preli. Morning. Nice to meet you, Jonas. Thank you very I'm much. I'm Jesse Pele. I'm the nice head to meet of you. Materials Metrology from the chemistry division at the NISA. Nice to meet you. Tom. So can you briefly describe your education and those areas that you believe are relevant to this position? Um, I completed my grade 12 in 2009 at the Khatanong High School, after which I enrolled for a Bachelor of Science degree uh, in chemistry and physics. I have second year mathematics and my physics incorporated a lot of uh, mathematics and statistics as well. My honors degree, I mean research, was in, in the analytical sciences, therefore I believe that I have the necessary skills and basic background to thrive in a case metrology career. Can you just tell us what you understand about the NMISA? Uh, the National Metrology Institute of South Africa is an entity that was established by the Measurement Units and Measurement Standards Act uh, number 18 of 2006 as part of the Department of Trade and Industries Technical Infrastructure. It is mandated to keep and maintain national measurement standards. It also facilitates global measurement comparability by engaging in international key comparisons. Uh, has four technical divisions, chemical metrology, ionizing radiation, physical metrology, and electricity and magnetism. The gas analysis section for which I'm applying for, I mean under, is part of the chemical metrology uh, section and it provides reference gas mixtures to the air pollution monitoring framework of South Africa and it also engages in research that aims to support the industry effectively. Um, if I can just interject there quickly. Okay. You mentioned chemical metrology. Yes. Okay, so just a correction. It's chemistry and materials. materials. Okay, so Preli Nimesa is a very close-knit uh, family. Uh, we are still a growing organization, and with that uh, comes a lot of difficulties and challenges. But in your case, um, have you ever come across any challenges, whether it's university or your first time working experience that you've come across? And if you can just highlight those challenges to us and then maybe explain how you dealt with those challenges. Okay, um, I spent a few months as a guest analysis intern, so I know the, the NMISA culture very well. And uh, I've had conflicts uh, before with uh, the people that I work with, but I believe that conflicts are best uh, acknowledged. So communication is very important. Uh, the, the most effective way to deal with conflicts in the workplace is to be solution oriented. And um, I believe that meeting with the affected parties halfway to uh, make a, a resolution helps to resolve those conflicts. Where do you see yourself in three years time? Uh, in three years, I would have completed my degree, hopefully, I'm very confident, and after which I would be required to work at the NMISA as per the contractual obligations. And I know that you mentioned three years, but I also hope that I continue to working in the institution after that. Thank you so much. That is it from me. I'm going to hand over to my colleague for the technical questions. In your words, what is it that we do at NISA? Okay, um, in my own words, I would say that you keep, actually you provide measurement solutions to South Africa's trade and industry. Uh, if there is any company that needed any measurement service, you would be the company that will help them. And if any company needed measurement traceability, you would be the company best suited to offer them that service as well. In one sentence, tell me, what is metrology? It's measurement science. Okay, good. Yes. 
or if you had to speak to your friend at home, how would you tell your friend, you know, in terms of applications, how would you apply what you have just said to me in terms of the real world? Okay. Um, most of our friends and parents at home, they go to the supermarket to, sorry, to um, buy groceries, they buy veggies and fruits from the supermarket. And when they're there, they are charged based on the the mass of the fruits or the veggies that they're buying. But you want to ensure that these people that are giving you these fruits or these veggies, they're not overcharging you. If they're saying a kilogram is eight rand, are we sure that, that uh, those apples that you put on the balance are one kilogram? So basically you have to get that uh, mass balance to be calibrated. So tell me, what is the ideal gas law? Okay, uh, the ideal gas law is a combination of Boyle's law and Charles' law from gas kinetics, and uh, it states the relationship between pressure, volume, the number of moles, and temperature of gas molecules. What do you understand by when you would have heard of this term MSDS? An MSDS is a material safety data sheet, and it usually accompanies. Um, chemical hazards in the laboratory. I have one more question for you. Mm -hmm. Can you give us examples of different types of reference materials and their link to the SI? Okay. Uh, one reference material that, I, uh, that is related to gas metrology is a reference gas mixture. It could be of carbon monoxide and nitrogen, for example. And this gas mixture is prepared in a cylinder that is measured on a mass comparator balance. That mass comparator balance is calibrated using mass pieces that are calibrated against working standards that are traceable to the kilogram. And uh, another could be a solution of ethanol, for example, in water, which is um, prepared uh, almost the same way, gravimetry, and are traceable to the kilogram. Okay, good. Uh, this concludes our interviewing process. What will happen now is you will be going through to the labs to complete three tasks. Um, after those three tasks, then we'll sit down and make our decision together with this interview and give you how you fared on the interview overall. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time and I appreciate um, the opportunity given for this interview as well. Prele o dienze di patlisi sota hai ene hape we shopi seeds. Mosebe tsa hasika bo choni fela me huali mai taro ahau atame a huta mai sana le mosebe tsu ahau mahasla se hai kaba ona lo tuya tuya kapa o taba ho chuleha we tivel la horo ufinye le di taro tsa hau ha ona le tabo sonto o chulehi le pelo o kaleka le kapelo o bone ene hau lo kile wa chuleha ho ke mo nyeta horo o yeta di ncho kabo chale le kakele lo encha o batlisi la ya ho yeta di ncho kabocha ke ka ho go hlulega e ka ba senotlolo se go isang ka tlhong ya hao gore o kenele le kala lena o ka ithutela yona BSc degree ya chemistry o ka etsa le diploma ka ba ho tsetsile degree ya hao wa yotsa yona post graduation and happy our host o na le dipasari di kwala ka di 31 tsa July ha e ka ba o sebeditse hantle and o le wa mona South Africa and happy ba o amohetse go di university e kopanye le bona Hi, my name is Napo. Um, I'm a senior scientist here in the lab. I've been working here for almost 10 years now. Uh, I actually do uh, many things here in the lab. Uh, one of them is basically training uh, the new people that are coming in. So today I will be um, the mentor for our candidate, uh, Preli. So, he entered the position to Lori Yadway. Uh, 
last last nam shila nje ke spego umkaka uwe metrology ba fetu is science ke ema ilana ke no kala izinto petalezi measurement someone has to let you uprili into gazi eno loazi u chemistry so we as balenga ganti izinto zip balance chwa gaza ba seven zinto es no bungozi hazardous gases speaking of which it's time for our favorite guessing game which is the word jumble give me guys ama q ama tatu ba fetu which are your letters l r and e umaga uya zimpendo before na lafana ku twitter na ku facebook but right now i got some support ndokazi passing gas no man not like that but just in case you got the wrong idea i mean she'll be passing gas into cylinders Hi Preli. Hello Nabo. Uh, welcome to the guest lab. Hello. So we're going to task here how on task one. So we're going to prepare a guest mixture for the uh, calibration of evidential breath analyzer. Okay. So we're going to prepare a mixture using gravimetric system. You know that disconnecting the cylinder, weighing it accurately a couple of times, and filling the required amount of gas as we did in the calculation, I guess. And then rolling, I guess, for homogenization. So. Uh, remember that you have 15 minutes for this for the task so try hore within 15 15 minutes task ya have will completed good luck so ka dile ni ningwe tsa ro ba tla ba scientist oh high school um said the task one is sharp uh, you'll find that when you go and analyze uh, in the analysis lab uh, that we cannot the value that he has from the task one does not correspond to the analysis then we definitely know that something went wrong then we need to investigate uh, what went wrong during her process kina nori Every person when they walk into any job environment it stops being about them like personally when i walk into the nmsa it's not about me it's about what i'm trying to achieve in life so when i walk here it's not about what someone thinks of me but it's about what i'm trying to achieve for myself for my child for my family and i try so much to separate myself from if 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 there's any negativity and always um focus on what is important and why am i here So this cycle number three now, which is the last cycle. So mm -hmm. yeah, maybe take us through what's gonna happen after here. Okay, hey, for DJ, get all seven spreadsheets. I guess now the data I'm gonna get in again, and then we'll go to the Kaya go filling station, go fill a gas, camera cylinder, and then go target that 200 grams. So right now I'm taking leaks on all of the connections that are made. During the weighing process, also, if she doesn't ensure that she exercises the balance very well. and she doesn't follow basically the requirements of weighing uh she can then uh get her weighing calculations wrong in that process so pretty you have about 2 minutes uh so be mindful of that okay i think i'll be done in 2 minutes <gasps> i 
Actually, I've exceeded my target mass. I add about seven grams more than I was supposed to. I overfilled when I was uh, filling the first component. Yeah, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm not really okay. Okay, that's fine. That's not a train smash. Uh, we will practice more on that. Uh, I think we, as long as we get the gravimetric value when we do the analysis, it should be okay. I'll disconnect my cylinder. Right, Prilly, please explain to us what are you doing here? I have finished weighing and the gas mixture is uh, complete. So now I'm going to put it on the roller bench. I'm putting it on the roller bench to homogenize the contents of this gas mixture for a couple of hours. Now that we've completed the end of task one, we're going to continue with our task two. Thank you, I'm looking forward to that. All right. Bokhoni bo preli a bo supileng bo tlile ka sekolo le monyetla wa mosebetsi o a uthotseng go phethahatsa theory ya hae ma haslase bo phelo ha se tsela fela e o qadileng ka yona empa maikemisetso a hao a gore wena o ile o qetella jwang ba tlisisa ka dintho tsa mosebetsi tse ba di talente tse ba bokhoni ba hao ha se o ba tlisise ka tsa mosebetsi tse ba gore ana wena o ipapanya le o feng mosebetsi ha se o le analytical chemist o tlamea go batla o tseba o bane le maikarabelo and o thabele go ithuta ka nako tsohle When your data is done you'll get something like this You just open it and then you check Welcome to task two. Thank you. Remember we've completed task one where we have uh, prepared the mixture gravimetrically. Yes. So task two is about analyze, analysis of the components that we've added there, right? That is ethanol in nitrogen. Okay. We want to make sure that the cylinder that you've prepared, the mixture that you've prepared, agrees with the gravimetric value that side so that you can use it for calibration. Uh, go for it. Thank you. So Napo, I will just start with the connection first before I explain everything here. It seems like it's a whole lot more flow than I want. So, so take us through why are you analyzing it this way and yeah, what, what are you expecting basically? Okay, so this is gas chromatography. I'm using a detector to detect actually a column to separate my analyte from the mixture and then a detector to detect the um, the peak of that analyte and then I'm going to use a reference gas mixture just to compare the results of the sample mixture that I've prepared and then uh, I will see um, how comparable those two results are and then I'll also use the value of the measurement standard to calculate a value for the sample mixture that I have. And then um, basically what we do, what we are trying to achieve is just to confirm the values that we've got from gravimetry. If those values are okay, then we are gonna we can use that gas mixture to calibrate our instruments. There's a point where I felt like I disappointed my parents so, so, so much. Yeah, um, I think I've been a, a pretty good child. And of course, yes, when I finished my honors, I came back home and I was expecting, but looking back at that experience, I don't think that it was clear disappointment. I think that sometimes it's a natural progression that, that happens and we're gonna be a replay. 
what is going to happen at that particular point. But I don't, I don't find it as a disappointment, and um, I don't normally regard it as a disappointment as well. Napo, I'm just going to check my gas lines again so that there's no leak. What's the importance of checking the leak? Uh, so that, uh, for example, if someone is working here and then there's a leak, that means that person will be exposed to that gas. Sometimes it could be toxic and that will uh, hinder the health of that person. Okay. What else do you check then to make sure that your system is okay? It's okay. Yeah, the other most important thing is just to do a visual inspection on your oven. You want to check whether your columns are okay, they are well connected, and it's the column that you want as well. Um, what is important uh, in task two is to make sure that you use the correct uh, reference uh, standard to verify the mixture that you want to verify. And you have to make sure that the system is working properly. That means checking leaks, um, installing the right columns that will separate the different molecules that you want to uh, separate. Uh, and basically, during the analysis, uh, ensure that your uh, analysis or your parameters are cons consistent so that you can get uh, uh, the results that you need. When your data is done, you'll get something like this. You just open it and then you check check your peaks, their retention times and what the peak areas are. So you'll have your peak areas there and then you'll have your retention times there. Usually you would know where you expect your analyte to uh, have a peak area. My test too was very good. Uh, the analysis was good. Even the results when I did the data manipulation, it was good. Uh, your data looks very good. I think that completes the end of task two. Huh? Then we'll then take our mixture that we've prepared to go and calibrate yeah, the machine uh, for task three. Okay. Well done. Thank you. And you did your task uh, within the set time. Thank you so much. Thank you for your facilitation as well. Kreli ona lebo kholi ba go hlalosa theory ya science le gore ana e bua eng se khotso fatang ka mosebetsi ona ke gore o ba o mongwe le lekola ba science menyetla ya mesebetsi e mengata wa bo ba ka ba o improve the product selling gore di lo thusa batho ba bang empa o sebetsa di awaretse etelele ntse o rarolla mathata ene o phela o le dithutong gore mosebetsi wa hao o khona go tsamaisana le ona ma hustlers career ya hao ke bowena ba hao getha ka bohlale gore o tsebe o amohela tse Tabisang, let's say Satabisang, come say it's wahao. Kill it, chase the horror of again. No fear, never, never. One of my husband's one thousand dollars I was going to say is I hate us, fall back like dominoes. Girlfriend is doing the most, my face. Go shy, match her in as well. Let him in young. What the corner man? There's someone at the door. Knock, knock. Who's there? The letter P. The letter P from where? The letter P from the word jumbo. We ask the moyas in pen. We follow up. We call up. We go Twitter. We go Facebook. Must be ever go careful. Guess one thousand dollars is coming to. I'm a professionalizer. I said Ben Zagan Jan Bafetu. You forget it's a shaga. It gets make sure. I'm gonna get in meter. I'm international standards. Bafetu. We ask most about your traffic code. Maybe it's footer. I'm blowing you away. See you after the break, man. Really, welcome to task three. Thank you. Uh, what you're going to do here in this task, we're going to perform the calibration of evidential breathalyzers with that uh, cylinder that we have prepared. Okay. 
Uh, remember that the process works uh, slightly different. So you're going to calibrate the breathalyzer and make sure that it fits the requirements uh, of the standard so that then we can issue the calibration certificate okay. and send it out. Remember again the task you are allocated 15 minutes uh, for the task. So good luck. Thank you. I hope I'll be done in 15 minutes. Yeah. Explain to us the, what is this breathalyzer, how does it work and then so forth. Breathalyzer key instrument the LRA measure breath al uh, breath alcohol. Yes. And then now the data calibration. So normally zero concentration here ethanol here. And then normally zero point one concentration here ethanol there in milligrams per liter. So what we're gonna do is we are going to validate for it. this instrument it will for the same um, concentration as the one Ellen certified. Well, I think I can show a breathalyzer on myself and it's basically because I'm not, I don't drink. I've never drank. Uh, so I would never have to be in a situation where I need to take my breath alcohol. Unless, of course, there's an officer somewhere who stops me and decides to check if I've drinking anything. So can you explain to us what, what's happening here? Okay, so I'm blowing the gas through this um, solution. Yeah, so basically the instrument takes a, a blank check and then now after that it will request you to take the sample by blowing. After that, it will patch. So patching, it removes uh, whatever content, I mean, solution is left in the interior of the breathalyzer. Just to make sure that when you make a second blowing, there's no memory effect or any carryover whatsoever. I'm joining Yaka as a varsity student. Salika failed my second year mathematics. At the time, uh, I was, I felt disappointed. And so I questioned myself a lot. Hore, okay, kikai molore, kiruzije focus, kikai molore, I did not perform the way that I was supposed to perform. And, but looking back now, after so many years, Kinanore is something that should have happened because you only start realizing your full potential after you failed before. And you know that, okay, perhaps I was, I had relaxed at the time, but I was able to pick myself up. So you actually realize how strong you are if you go through that rough patch in your life. So the new technology has uh, more features uh, because it actually guides you through the entire process of calibration. Blow, remove the holes, and do this. Where else on the uh, older technology, it, it didn't have, all it had was just um, give you an indication you blow and then stop blowing. But it actually doesn't tell you the, uh, the whole feature. So this one is much easier to use. But the actual principle is, is the same. So we had to come up with uh, the methods to do that one, because I can imagine it was a bit difficult at first uh, to... Yeah, the technology improves, but for me, uh, the principle is the same. Mm -hmm. If you look at the performance of the this one and the older, the older, version, older version, yeah, it's okay. It's Just that this one has, yeah, advantageous uh, f uh, features for the user. So they completely scrapped out the, the older version? Yes, yes. I have a lot of challenges. I I in a relaxed environment, whereas I am being challenged every day. And my personality is very fit for the position that I was applying for. Just uh, let's look at the results. Can we confidently say that the instrument passes calibration, pass calibration? Yes. Okay. 
And then what are your reasons for that? There's a 0.1 concentration that you were testing, and you can see from the results that they're approximately 0.1. But the EC detector as well, it's approximately 0.1. So you can be very confident that your measuring instrument is OK. OK, now, yes. well done. Yeah, I agree with you. The results are very good. That completes the end of task three. Thank you. Well done. Let me just print the results. Thank you very much. So, really, you had a very long day, I understand. Very long day, but I'm not complaining. Okay. Yes, okay. I enjoyed myself. This is something that you'd, you could see yourself doing every day? Definitely. So, tell me, how did you find the tasks today? Talk me through task one. Okay, task one, I had to weigh and fill a cylinder. So, basically, that's a, a part of Gravimetric preparation. Okay. Uh, it's it's a pretty simple exercise, especially if you have some sort of experience in um, gas metrology. So sure. it was uh, pretty fun and, okay. and and simple as well. Yeah, I enjoyed myself. So that was going to be my next question. How do you think you performed and through the day? Because we we've, we've just had a brief discussion with your mentor, mm -hmm. and he's given us some feedback. So. Um, before we let you know as to what he told us, okay. let's hear from you. How do you felt the day went? Um, it was a long day, uh, but uh, it's it's very good to know that what what I was doing and the tasks that I was given contribute very. They contribute so much out there. So I, I started out from that frame of mind that. Whatever I'm going to be doing today, it's something that it's helping the communities out there. So I was very happy to engage in it. Uh, a bit nervous at first, mm -hmm. but I think as the day went on, I relaxed and I applied what I know, what I've learned in university, what I've learned during my internship. So I think it went very well. Okay. Yes. Really, we've deliberated together with my colleague as well as your mentor. We looked at how you performed in your interview as well as the assigned tasks to you. And I'm very delighted to tell you that you were successful for the scientist guest position. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I hope to make the guest metrology team proud. I also hope that for you having given me this opportunity, you would ne never look back and regret this decision. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, I've been out there has been so much to get a position like this one and I'm so thankful that you believe in me. I don't no, know I think, what else. I think it's, it's <laughs> yeah. so you've, actually, you've definitely been the best candidate Thank you. For, for this position. And, uh, I was a bit skeptical at first but uh, it's, it's, it's very good to know that there are people out there that believe in the capability that I have. Do you have any questions for the panel? Yes, I just have one question. Sure. Um, uh, as a guest metrologist, are there any other career prospects uh, within NEMISA? Okay, Preli, uh, NEMISA uh, promotes growth in terms of ac academics as well, so should you wish to further your studies in your... I'll be given the opportunity. You'll be given that opportunity. Dependent though that it's related to that field of work, whatever you're doing, we pay for you to further your studies should you want to do so. Okay. Okay. But then you also have to sign a work back agreement. So however many years we funded your studies, you must pay us back by working for us for that time period. But you do get paid during that time, market-related <laughs> salary. So, so, so it's not, yeah. Okay, any other questions? 
You're good. Okay. All right. I'll see you on Monday. Yes. Thank you very much. out there I'm from the interview and I've made it so I've been offered a position today as a metrologist I'm happy I'm so excited it's been a very long day but I am so glad that I'm a step closer to achieving my dreams so my fellow hustlers out there presser pusher panda bye well done, Preli. Riboni ka wena gore le rona ha re batla o atleha. Re tlameya ho nahana ka tleho. Me hopolo e tshietsang ena hape e khothatsang. Botso ya rona ya beke ena e tswa go leano. A re yena o batla o tseba ka agronomist le ka dithuto tsa teng. Agronomy ke le kala le leng la science la go hudisa ha di jalwa. O di hudisa mmung o omelletseng ka pa tsona tso nusetswang. Ke bua ka dipinatsi, di fruits, di pony, di pofu, le tse ding. O tlhoka National Senior Certificate Eta o dumela ho etsa degree maths physical science di compulsory o ka ithutela yona bsc degree ya hao ya agriculture o nke agronomy ka pa plant production as the major tsa hao e kopanye le ba agriculture research council ho fumana ho hongata ha e ka ba hona le ho sa utlwang ho pola o chakela facebook ya rona le yona website ke emetse ya hao putso Sitogoze kakhulu ukuthi into engazi ke isolele umsebenzi omusha khona laphana ke National Metrology Institute of South Africa ikhona ukumitha amastandards aphezulu ke bambekele wona khona laphana khona manje into engazi she's like a balloon filled with helium gas she's just going up and up and up sebe ukuthi yonke into zihamba kahle but lapha makhaya you just up 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 in arms ba face ni fulu kwazi hey iphile impendulo laphana ku word jumbo igama kathi silifuna hi calibrate uma ngo itholile you can celebrate but until next week mina fana ka mtambo seng dotsa zonke intambo seng phuma kanje i will always tell you don't look down look up and stay up you might see a balloon somewhere out there